Hey guys, I have got the funniest thing just happened. I don't want to give it away. I am not the kind of guy, well, maybe I'm not, but I'm typically not the kind of guy that will, you know, kind of lead, gunner, that will lead into something. But today is Sunday. This video will be coming out for you guys on Tuesday. But Lou has done the funniest thing. And today is our Cooking with Dan Lou episode. And uh, listen, you just gotta go watch this video on Thursday. I, I hate to do this and say, hey, you gotta watch the video, but I can't give it away right now because it is so funny what she did. It'll, it'll be early in the video. So even if y'all don't typically watch the cooking videos, you gotta go watch at least the first five minutes or something to see this part. Uh, little ghosts are going crazy out here right now. There's peacocks everywhere in the yard. And I'm gonna try to go out there. I didn't have enough time today to finish up the uh, the roof on the little building. It's supposed to be raining tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday. Breeze call me. Um, or tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday. It's supposed to be raining here. So it may be next weekend before I get back on the little roof. Uh, I don't know, but I got to clean out some stalls today. We've just been, since we've been on vacation, we've been very behind on some things. I need to go get some cleanup done. So we'll figure out what else we can do. So y'all hang around a little bit. Don't forget to watch Cooking with Dan Lou on Thursday to see Lou's little mishaps. Okay, well, we're gonna have a little slight change of plans real quick. Brienne, get rid of her chicken coops, or not her chicken coops, that chicken run, so that she can uh, build a new one. So we're gonna take a pause and go get those out. I think that front one I'm gonna keep and uh, maybe take it out there in the pasture uh, for the goats or uh, the minis or whatever. If it's, you know, real hot and sunny or if it's uh, Gunner. Gunner, okay. Okay, Gunner. Okay, Gunner, come on. Or if it starts to get a little rain, a little rain, which they got their stalls to get in, but. They may not want to come all the way back up here to the house. So, Gunner, what do you want, bud? So, we're going to go see if we can't tie onto one of those and get it out there in the pasture somewhere. Let's see how this works. All right, we're hooked up. Whoa, easy! Going easy. E easy. Go easy. <laughs> we are, this is about the most redneck thing we've ever done. Literally. No, trust me, it's not. <laughs> okay, it's the most redneck thing I've ever done. No, it isn't. What have you ever seen me do more redneck than this? Don't hit your brother's truck. A handmade machine called the jackass. That is, true. that is the most redneck thing we have ever done. Well, I wish we still had that right now, actually. I know, I was just thinking about that the other day. That is awesome. Because we had a mule and then we built this trailer thing for it. I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna move this. I think you can make it. Huh? It's okay, go ahead. Alright, guys, we are gonna get this thing moved around where we want it at. It's coming along with us. Come on, Bray. It's right here. What about the tart fart and all the bungee cords? I'll bring it to you in just a bit. You want me to go get it right now? No, it's okay. I'd rather you open gates for me. Yeah, I figured. I make sure oh, we you were about to tear up this yard. I better not tear up this yard. I'll be so upset. 
Open the gate, gate girl. Bree looks like such a tomboy today in that hat. Stop it. What? Stop. Am I fitting? What was that look for? Yeah, you got it. Are you sure? Yep. We made it through gate number one. Somehow, some way. Buffy, I don't know. I don't know what you're looking at. I don't know what she's looking like. Hey. Yo, we, did, we didn't never finish that haircut, did we? You leave her alone. She's beautiful. A little teamwork here. Free drives for a minute. I drive for a minute. You're good over here. You're close there. This is where it's going to get tricky. What was that, sweetie? Was you saying something about how I don't know how to drive? I never said that. You were saying something about my driving. Oh, we got to shut that gate before I open this one. Watch the lake. All right, that's good. What do you want to come in here for? There's nothing in here for you. There's nothing. <laughs> you know what? Just stay in there. I don't care. I don't care if you go in there for nothing. Yeah. For no apparent reason, just you want to be in that pen. All right, Bree, I'm going to have to help you here. Yeah. Hold tight. All right. Oh. oh. You might just want to disconnect us. No, no. Drive in and then carry them. No, no. I can just I can kick it around on the back side, on the back side a little bit. Okay. It's bent pretty good in the front. I think that'll pull right back out. It'll, it'll pull back out and stay down. All right, go ahead. It's gonna get your feet. Go ahead. Don't turn too sharp. Don't turn too sharp. Well, I, I don't got much more room. Well, you... All right. That's why I said to let me do All right, all right. Hold on just a second. Hold on, hold on. I'll show everybody what happened real quick. I don't know why she did that. <laughs> Yeah, I was just uh, trying to set the phone up. Got All right, come on, Bree, let's go. Let's roll. I'm gonna help you here. Are you? Ready? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold tight. Back up a little bit.
I see that. Sorry. Uh, I don't think we're gonna fit through the next gate. They're all 12 foot gates we got to. Okay. All right, go ahead. Whew. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, ho, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, go ahead. Hold on, we keep losing the strap. Hold on. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. We're rubbing on both sides. Turn back the other way now, Bray, towards the tree. Oh, easy, easy. Good night, what happened? Uh, I took a panel off your gate. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. We got all kinds of issues. I'm about to take this I don't know if we're going to fix that way. front part up there or not. Maybe I don't think we got to get through here first. Watch out. Yeah. Now pull it off that. All right. Goodness gracious. I hope we can fix this. That's kind of that's yeah, kind of stuck out there. Did, but... It'll we'll fix it. Um, all right, Bree. I think we I want. We beat this thing up pretty good. Yeah, I know we did. Uh, let's just put it on the other side of that tree. Yeah, let's put it on the other side of that tree and we'll put the door side next to Jacob's fence. I think. Get out of there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it so it stays up off the ground. I'm, I'm doing all the work. You got to go. All right, I ain't going to do that. Straight into yeah, we can move it by hand then. Good. All right, so I think this is gonna be good, guys. Uh, we're gonna get the tarp put on the stakes. <coughs> and then <clears throat> I may be, even be able to keep some feed out here, you know, not feed, but like some hay out here for everything. Uh, but it's, it'll, look, I can't even talk right now. This will be very good for uh, hot days in the summertime coming up or a little bit of rain comes through. Uh, they can get under there and, and get out of the rain. They can always still go up to their to their uh, stalls too. But if they just want to lay out here still and be in the shade with a little ventilation, this will be a little spot. Let's go get the tarp and put the tarp on it now. I can tell you right now that I am not happy with all the work we did to get this out here and the way this turned out. This is not good. That's, <laughs> I'm telling you this is on the wrong frame. And I guess I probably could have doubled that under maybe, but it's too long on the sides I believe too. It's just, it's just not looking good. 
not looking good at all. So I don't even know what to do about this thing now. This is just, this is gonna end up being a parachute. That is not the right tarp. I don't know how Bree had it looking good over there on her chicken coop, but it was on the other end. She said, well, yeah, but it was too short for that end. It's made for this end, but it's not made for this end. And she's over there on the tractor doing something. She's not here, so I can't even gripe at her right now. Her and I got that works about this. She gave me the wrong part. Ugh. Okay, well, this is definitely not how this goes. This looks like crap and it will not be here for long, but I don't have time to take it down right now. I gotta get up to the house. We got some cooking to do. And this is gonna have to come down later. And depending on if I see the animals out here at all during the week late in this thing will depend on whether I bring that other one over here and fix it up right or I get rid of the whole thing. But with all that blowing and everything like that, I don't see this being, I just don't see this being any kind of an option at all. This is gonna look like crap over here and I don't like that. So this will be gone before you know it. I don't even know why I'm showing you all this. Baby goats. They were all up on their tire a minute ago, so the tire's coming in handy. It's a good thing. And now they're out eating. I'll tell you what, these are some lazy goats too. These suckers will lay up all day long until you come out. Lazy things. There's the tree goats. Not sure where A.A. Ronnie is. Oh, I think he's up there behind Dolly. Crazy Brett. Brett is crazy. something else come over here that can get some some use out of it um, I just don't know what I would do with them while the big cows are over here uh, and I don't want to have to do this like where it's done every day all oh, these come out these go in and then at night switch them back and then in the daytime these come out these go in that would that would be good and my cows have got the little stalls they go into every night of where they come to eat so I don't want to disrupt all that but it would be good to let somebody else get some benefit out of some of this grass. And eventually, ryegrass is not going to last. When it starts getting hot, that ryegrass is going to be gone. It's just going to wither away and it's going to die. And uh, I don't want that to happen without somebody getting some use out of it. So let me try to see if I can't figure out something. All right, Buffy, back to the pen. Back to the pen, Buff. Come on. Oh, shoot. Back to the pen. Come on. Go. Go, Buff. Go. Keep trucking. Keep trucking, girl. Keep trucking. There's plenty of grass out there in the other pasture. Keep trucking. Turn and go. Turn and go. Thank you, sweet girl. You don't want to come give daddy any lovings? 
You don't want to give daddy any lovings? Okay, well, fine then. Don't give me no lovings. Come here. Come here. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, you like some scratches. Oh, she likes some scratches. Uh oh, those babies are coming after you. Them babies are coming at you. Hey, y'all go. Y'all ain't going in there. Well, y'all can't. Y'all can get out. All right. Well, my little activity I wanted to do today did not work. So, back to no, Buffy. Dead gum it. Girl, I just turned you around. Don't start. Do not start. Turn and go. Turn and go. Go. Go, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> what are you doing, Brett? Good night, Irene. <laughs> oh, y'all better go now. Y'all better go now. <laughs> All right, so a couple of interesting things. Number one, it's Monday today. And uh, I know today's the day of the eclipse. And that's not why I'm not at work. We actually got an email last night that we have a power outage, scheduled power outage, not anything to do with anything crazy at the office today. So they're working on power. So I've been sitting in the house all day, all morning long, working and working, working, trying to get caught up from the week I was on vacation. So uh, I got pretty much caught up. I just need to take a break in there for a little while. I'm, I'm pretty much caught up. But uh, it's fixing to start raining pretty good here. Uh, there's no no evidence of an eclipse happening here at my house. And it's already uh, 1245. So anyway, whatever that means, I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. But I got some things to do. I did talk to Jacob about uh, putting his cows over in my pasture. So I'm pretty sure, <laughs> poor Dolly. Dolly is separated. Dolly is separated, here she comes. She's separated from her two brothers this morning. There's a lot going on in Dolly's little life right now. I was trying to tell y'all a story about Jacob's cow. So I think we got a plan to move Jacob's cows. Not all of his cows. This may be Moo and that other big Holstein. Uh, I don't think I can support all of them. Um, but anyway, let's talk about Dolly real quick. This poor baby has got some couple of things going on in her life right now. Come back here so I can get. Well, listen, I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to show you on this video, Dolly. Dolly. Okay. So right there. They are. Dolly's going through a couple. That's my glasses, baby. Dolly's going through a couple of little things right now. Number one, she's got separation anxiety from her brothers because they're at the vet right now getting, getting a little clip job done on them. So she's got a little bit of separation anxiety from her brothers. And number two, it is the first full day, first full day of weaning. So no bottle. Girl, you are losing hair like absolutely crazy. Look at all that hair falling out of you. You're a shedding little thing. Look at all that hair. Anyway, we're going to shave you like we did Buffy. I'm just playing. We're not going to shave you. Oh, here comes the baby Buff. What's up, Buff? I was giving some attention to somebody else and not you. Come here, baby. Oh, God, I got a gnat fly mine. Yeah. Oh, you get some lovings, huh? Come here, baby. Daddy will love you, too. Daddy will love you too until you bite me. And we have some issues, you and I. You okay? Okay, pretty girls. Okay, my pretty girls. Come on. Oh, anyway. Uh, her brothers are off getting clipped. And no bottles. So, that's a little bit of her issues today. But they're eating food good. Me and Bree tore this up yesterday. Uh, I'm always pulling that thing through here. So I'm going to cut the rest of that off. We don't need that anymore. And uh, then I'm going to put some shavings down some stalls. So we've got a little bit more work to do yet today. Well, let's see how far one bag of shavings can get us 
in a stall. We got the stalls all cleaned out today. Oh. Let's see what the bag of shavings will do. dump them and then spread them. Stall. I think we'll get it. That looks really good. Uh, could probably stand to get them a little bit thicker. Uh, they're not thin. But we could probably stand to get them a little bit thicker. Get another bag for the stall. all done and I'll show y'all what they all look like together but we got a good bit of shade two bags of shavings and that stall is really good we'll see what like the we'll see what the upkeep on this here is like that one, one sure looks good when it's new let's get the other one down real quick so before I do that other stall there's a couple of other things I did today so I wasn't sure how long I was gonna get to work before the rain it actually never rained but I did install a new latch on that gate and I put a board at the bottom so the goats can escape uh, remember the idea is to try to keep them out of there I don't know if that board's gonna be tall enough they may try to go over that and through that little crack I don't know if they can we'll see um, you know they've been sleeping out here under on this new deck and of course they've got it in two nights they've got it just absolutely destroyed but uh, something else I did real quick before I get back to spreading mulch, or not mulch, but shavings. I sprayed some fly spray. They got a fly spray that's safe for animals and stuff. And you can see where the floor is a little bit wet. But there was just, you know, because of all the poop from the goats and everything, I cleaned off all those feed bins. But there was, there was a million flies in here earlier. They were just everywhere. Of course, I didn't spray them on their feet or anything like that, but... I just sprayed that floor in that corner and there ain't a fly one I don't think left over here. They are gone. Um, so that's a good thing. And uh, the fly safe, the fly spray safe for animals. So anyway, let me get my other mulch back down in here. We're starting to get this thing the way we want it. We get that building finished out here this weekend or that roof. We're gonna be set up and it's gonna be a nice little feed room can stay clean and nice and no flies and all of that but let me get a few more bags of mulch in here and get this going for opal and LJ.
Okay. Now that's nice for LJ and Opal. And again, I've been leaving their stall open all night long. And typically they come in here and eat, and they go back out for a while. But in the mornings, they're laying down typically right inside of here. So, all right, looking good, guys, looking good. And uh, eclipse, I'm assuming, happened today. I wouldn't know if it did because it's been cloudy all day. We got to go pick up the little goats here in a minute from the vet. Don't know how well they're going to be feeling. But we're going to go pick them up here in a minute. And uh, Dolly's out there missing them so bad. Anyway, I want to show you all this here as I got it done. All right. Little well, Brett's eating. Like nothing ever happened here. Hey, Dad, and this gonna... poor little baby right here is still <laughs> sedated and just out of it. But hey, back up a little bit. Not, he's, he he's doesn't tired. feel good. Yeah, he's tired. Oh, Bubba. Cashton, come here. <clears throat> he's Don't tired. Uh, are you going to be out here with him a little bit on uh, and off this yeah, afternoon? This one's right here. Oh, Aww. <laughs> poor baby, A.A. Ron. That's much better than laying over on the side. Okay. Instead of helping him recover from his anesthesia. Mommy, I won't close my um, If you're going to come out here a few times tonight, Me. you might want to try and stand him up and look at where his incision is at. Um, a little bit of dripping and drainage is okay, but like... Pouring blood is not. Okay. Hey, where are you going, mister? Eat what you want, I guess, Brett. Yep, I guess. That's fine. That's fine. That's a good thing. All right. Well, okay. I went, can I get him some food in there, too, in case he wants you some? You can offer it. If he wants it, he can have it. It's very hard to close car carts. So All right. Let me get these guys situated, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Catch you guys later. Yay.